The Russo-Ukrainian War enters its 333rd day, Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023. The Baltic states urged Germany to send tank reinforcements. Meanwhile, Ukrainian advisors called on their allies to think fast regarding weapons assistance. The following is a summary of the events of the Russian-Ukrainian war situation, as quoted by The Guardian. An advisor to Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said that caution and slow decision-making over whether to send Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine would cost lives. Mikhailo Podolyak tweeted on Saturday, Today's doubts kill more of our people. Every day of delay is the death of Ukraine. Think faster. The Baltic states told Germany to send the tanks, now, to Ukraine. The foreign minister of Latvia, Edgar Zrinkovics, tweeted that the tanks were necessary to stop Russian aggression. The same tweet was issued by his colleagues in Estonia and Lithuania. Joe Biden's response Joe Biden told reporters after the event on Friday night that Ukraine will get all the help they need. The comment he made in response to a question about the tank. Germany has yet to decide German Defense Minister Boris Pistoriusen said that while everyone had high expectations, it was still not possible to say when a decision would be taken. It is not yet known what decision will be taken regarding the Leopard tank. Germany said it was conducting an inventory of its current tank numbers before making a decision. 50 countries support about 50 countries agreed to provide Kyiv with billions of dollars worth of military hardware. The military equipment includes armored vehicles and ammunition needed to repel Russian troops. Zelensky visits a memorial service for senior officials who died. Volodymyr Zelensky attended a memorial service on Saturday to commemorate the seven senior interior ministry officials who died in a helicopter crash on Wednesday, Reuters reported. Interior Minister Denis Monasterski, his deputy and five other people were killed when their helicopter crashed into a nursery in the eastern outskirts of Kyiv in the fog. 